All right, hello guys. This is post-op week number five, and we are March 22nd, 2022. It's 7, 7, 11 p.m. right now, Houston, Texas. And this might be distracting for some of you. I think you can see the lighting on my glasses, so I'm just gonna take those off. But anyways, I've been doing really good with my recovery and i don't want to make this video super long i'm just gonna go over all the important things let's go over the side profile so i'm gonna do both sides go to this side And front, that's just my normal face. And let's get to opening my mouth. So that's how far I have been able to move my mouth and it's been a big increase, especially since the first and second week. You can see my teeth here. There is a gap right here. And some gaps there, but uh, braces should fix that. But overall, my bite is pretty, pretty good. I, f I feel it to be pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with that. I've been able to eat pretty much any anything uh, I would say uh, well yeah I guess like burgers pizzas and stuff like that but I think I decided to just kind of ease off ease off on that a bit because I think I found it more comfortable to eat pastas and like macaroni or maybe chicken alfredo or like noodles and stuff like that I find it more comfortable to be eating that stuff even though every once in a while I will throw a burger or a pizza in there to mix it up. But the only thing, I just have to cut it up into pieces. Uh, but it's just a hassle and a lot of work to put in to eat something like that. And that's why I prefer eating pastas, noodles, and all that stuff. And another thing, I guess I can show you... I have these cuts here. They're not opened anymore. They're just like scars now. Uh, it's like down there. I mean down there. I guess I, I think that's a scar. You can see like the cut on the gum. I think it's a cut. I'm not sure. And other side. And you can see it's white here and it's like dark, like dark down here, dark red. And here in the middle. For some reason, this red spot keeps appearing right there in the middle. It's kind of weird. Up here, you can see all that. Same thing, white on the gums, and then on the top, it's like it's like dark, dark red or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how that's going, and. My face is feeling less and less puffy with each and every week. I feel the puffiness around here, really. It's really just around here. And it's like, it's like this area. It's like a U. It's like a horseshoe shape, almost. It's like the swelling is like from here. And then it's kind of grabbing this upper lip. So, like this whole area right here. But it's a very, it feels like a very small area, though. It doesn't feel that big. So, yeah, all that and all this, a little horseshoe shape. That still feels pretty swollen. You can see like my cheekbones, I think right here. That's pretty nice. I was, I was really big like a balloon not too long ago. And to be able to see my face looking a little more bone on the, more on the bony side is nice. And yeah, that's that. I'm able to stick my tongue out. That's one thing I haven't actually talked about, but I could stick my tongue out like that. And before, I think at week one or something like that, I could stick it like this far. 
thing like that. And also when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm able to open my mouth a bit more to give the toothbrush more room to brush like down and up and to the sides and all that. So that's getting a lot easier with each and every brush that I do. Uh, of course, uh, day and night I brush and use a Listerine mouthwash. Uh, the Listerine mouthwash, I use the purple one it, on the tag. It says it has like, I think four or five benefits or whatever. But yeah, I use that one. And then I use, uh, I've been using Sensodyne toothpaste, the repair enamel one. I've been using that one because I feel like it would help me. And I've always, most of my life used Sensodyne. So when I feel like it's a good toothpaste for me. And also I have sensitive teeth even before the surgery. I'm sensitive to like ice and really cold water or I think even really hot hot liquids and hot. No, it's, it's mainly more on the cold side actually. Like ice or something like that. And my, you can feel the pain in my teeth, but I know it's like the sensitivity. And that does it for that. My lips aren't drying anymore. My lips are like back to normal. So that's pretty good. I ha uh, I had the tendency to keep ripping off like chunks. Not like, like you would imagine like by force. I would just try to see what areas, what areas, you know, would come off easily. But even then, with not being able to feel, then it didn't help much. Cause for example, if I couldn't feel this area, or whatever and then I peeled off the skin and it felt like nothing well visually it wouldn't look like nothing because I would have like a little blood come out or whatnot but toward the end the dried lips they started to dissipate ever ever so slowly uh but yeah now I have normal lips and it's also helped not having the rubber rubber bands in my mouth I was supposed to see the orthodontist on Monday, which was yesterday, but they canceled the appointment or the orthodontist couldn't be there. So I think uh, when I go on this Monday, which is going to be when I go next Monday, which is going to be March 28th, which is the visit with my surgeon. I think they're, they might schedule me my orthodontist appointment again for a later date or something. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later that would be nice but they told me that that I that I will I, I would pretty much be on a call and to, re to receive a call to set up an appointment with the orthodontist in the future uh, but that's unfortunate that I couldn't that 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 was canceled it was the morning of uh, when I found out they called me uh, but yeah that pretty much does it for that I think I'm gonna wrap it up here yeah, I just wanted to give quick little Little quick little update here five week post off think uh post up thanks for watching and i'm gonna keep posting these weekly i think until until i'm done with the surgeon until i don't have to do appointments or something like that i don't know uh we'll just keep going and see what happens but thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next update video goodbye